810. Check, check. Are we on? We're on. We're live. Look. We're live. Look at him in the shade. He's shade hunting. He like stays me. in the shade until he sees a reflection. All right. So, everybody calls us all the time and says, Do you have any homes that are just built, Randy, that I could just buy and I could take off property or leave here? Well, what behind me, we do have one. This is called Dover and it's eight by 24. And this is, this is our old freedom style home. If you guys can see, it's double dormered. It's got the LP siding. Let's take a tour, show you what it is. The selling price is 65.9. It's ready to hook and leave. Now we do have a couple available lots on the beach and you could actually put it in on Buffalo Creek as our mountain project. If you'd like that too. Okay. Let us know if you want a lot with us, then we can, we can, um, let you know what's available. But right here, the house, if you want to hook it and go 65.9, let's take a tour. All right. So I'll explain again. I know I've explained a lot of these model homes. I come up with this different design because my whole premise of this is to make it look like a tiny house, right? A small house, not a tiny house on wheels, which is blocky. So I've put in this big sweeping overhang. You guys can see how it's stain grade polyurethane soffit board and batten this is a beautiful color amanda you picked this out my favorite color and it's a uh, black trim so i call it black and black right so everything's black on here i love it the windows pop lp siding is almost maintenance free it's got a 50-year warranty for rot color color diff, color uh degradation whatever you call it it's just going to stay together for you and then up here you guys can see we got the board and batten the faux rafters, the corbel brackets, the sweeping overhangs, and that's on both ends of the house. And it's got these rafters sticking out. I also use these large fascia boards. So if you're a carpenter or you guys are tiny builders watching this, you guys know what we're doing. You see them large freeze boards. It's more expensive. The trim on these things are way more expensive than the homes we did before, but I'm trying to make it look more architecturally appealing right and that's why you got this big overhang it actually protects the door and the floor this is a wood framed home polyurethane closed cell spray foam and it's the design is just like our freedom and our rjo home that we used to do okay so come on in let's go take a look let me give you a hand manda like the gentleman i am yes tell me you. tell me i'm a gentleman you're a gentleman say it again <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, so Amanda, you're in where the refrigerator goes. I'm the fridge. Right there. So the fridge is right there. Yes. And oh, I know. Show that. show that. So Good. what size fridge can go there? Man, that they I don't have my tape measure. Oh. But they've got enough for a full size fridge. Now yeah. the thing you have to watch on a full size fridge, everybody, is that it comes out to this door. This has been probably the biggest challenge for this floor plan and every floor plan has its little quirks right so you have a two foot wide countertop or count it's really 26 mm -hmm. and so you have this door it has to come in we only have this much space right here at this door so if your refrigerator can't come out you get a big old 36 inch you know fridge yeah. it's going to come out 30 inches That's too much. you've only got about 24 inches depth now that's depth for refrigerator mm -hmm. Me personally, I, I think for a tiny home, the 10 cubic foot fridge is ideal. But um, we did a, we did a, a show with Gloria. Mm -hmm. No, 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 we, had, we were at her house. No, no, I'm sorry, Dorothy Trapp. Dorothy's house. So Dorothy's had a nice fridge, and she said a third of it was a freezer, two thirds was a was fridge. Was a fridge. I can't remember the name of that. Insignia, Insignia or something like that. Okay, so it was a nice fridge, but it was only two foot by two foot. Mm -hmm. All right, so anyway, and that's what you got. And yesterday's tour, and you can see, because we showed the name of that fridge. Yeah, so you only want it to be about two foot deep. Okay. All right, in our model homes, we have this farm style sink. Mm -hmm. It's a 24 inch farm style sink. You got your sink base. You got these beautiful cabinets, right? Here you go. Here's your nice cabinet, soft clothes. You've got your two burner cooktop, range hood, place for microwave, light, sink. This is our typical mm -hmm. um, kitchen water heater underneath here. Okay. And it gives you more countertop space, okay. right? 
This one also has a washer and dryer hookup. So you got your stackable. Now, if you don't want a stackable and you put one of the smaller units in a combination, then you've got a closet in here too. The bathroom is our typical bathrooms. Barn door here. And as you go in, you guys can see that our sink, a 32 inch shower. Yes. Of course, toilet. Now it's a, it's a simple bathroom and you guys all know that this RJO Freedom Style home or floor plan is built for, it, it's not built for the bathroom, all right? It is a nice kitchen, nice countertop, a lot of space. We got some still up, um, up space that you could put either a cabinet, open shelving. And as you guys know, I've started this thing to get to, I always say to get rid of the kitchen and bathroom. But it is to give you this large living room area. It is a huge living room. So it's normally, huge. yeah. So this, a 24-foot home, usually I try to break it up into eight, 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 all right? Eight-foot sections. I like to get rid of the bathroom and the kitchen in eight feet. Then it gives you a living room for eight feet. And then it gives you a bedroom for eight feet if you'd like. Now, this has got a double dormer lock that you could, you could sleep up there. And a lot of people that are, you know, I say it up in age a little bit. They don't like they don't like crawling up the steps and or the ladder, and I totally understand that. This home, because of its length, it's 24 feet. You can, of course, have this as your bedroom living room combination. The thing that the reason this has come out here a little far is because we have taken and put a water heater and a washer and dryer here, which pushed our eight foot increment, three of them, mm -hmm. over. This is about 11 feet now. Okay. It's still so enough space. you still got one, two, three, four, right? Three times four is 12. So it's about 12 foot this way. Our typical 92 inches wide. There you have it. So 1,200 plus square feet right here that you can arrange. I'm just going to walk it through with you all to see if normally, you know, people that buy our homes are either single, right? And if you do, if you do want to do that, you have your bed, if you put it back here. You can have your bed here, it could be a bed sofa mm -hmm. to the side. And then you've got this whole area for a study, you put your desk, amoirs, you can put a dining room table in front of your um, window. It's livable, what I'm trying to explain, I guess it's livable for a all on one floor. Yeah. Cheaper, it's 65.9. So think about it, if you go up to the Charleston, you're gonna spend 20, 30,000 dollars more be wider and longer and you're still on the same floor. Mm -hmm. So this is a home that I designed. The 24 foot is that you could have a bed here down here. Now, again, if you want to, the loft is up there. It's actually eight by eight. You can put a king size mattress up there. You can have a ladder that goes up to the top if that's something you choose. And then you've got this whole downstairs available. Now, also think about this. I don't, I don't have my phone on me. Depending on what you do with this home, a great Airbnb, awesome. This can be a this can be a two sleeper down here and up there, or you just have it and have a beautiful downstairs. They people love this kind of home, perfect for Airbnb. We're hearing these some of these homes are renting out, Lord, for 150, 200 nights, dollars mm -hmm. a night. You know, so you're looking at I always estimate probably 200 nights a year. All right, it's a little yeah. bit more than half of the half of the year. You still got four what four months left? It's just not, it's vacant, you know. But if you take two hundred times, let's say one hundred and fifty dollars a night, that's thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. So potentially, this could actually pay for itself. I'm gonna, I could say two years, but I'm going to say three. Right? Think about think about this. Think about if you wanted to invest in property like a home or a duplex or something. You're gonna play, I don't even think you can get one for $150,000 anymore. Now you might get a fixer up or somewhere and you gotta take care of it, but still you got a 15 to a 30 year note. Airbnbs, tiny homes are killing it. Everywhere you go in the country, people, this is a novelty, people wanna rent it. Think about if you could pay this off before you had to move into it. So it's something that if you had a place to put it, you could actually rent it out. Let's just say if it had to go five years and it's paid for. There's all kinds of ways that I like to justify buying a home like this you got something that can last it's painted it's your thing it's done all you have to do is furnish it and you're done with it 
Um, and then it's paid for three to five years. You've got something that you can resell or live in it yourself, but the bill's paid for, right? You, so somebody paid your mortgage on yeah. this if you like, uh, if y'all want to, if you want to do the Airbnb. Eric Changer wanted to point out sconce lights, mini split, painted, urethane, it's ready to bay go. Window. What size? That's a bay window. It's five foot this way, four foot tall. I put them there because there's a couple rental companies that have um, a bed right here. Yeah. And this is the exact layout of a rental company that they, they do Airbnbs. They walk in, big bed here, you look out to a view if you have a pond, lake, mountain view, or even an outdoor fireplace. The bed, you still have place for a, a, a dining room table. You still got room for a sofa, TV, and then you got all your kitchen, bathroom, and a washer and dryer. You could turn, if you don't want a washer and dryer in an Airbnb, then you could actually make that into a closet. Into a closet. You got it. All right, everybody, this is 65.9. This is our eight by 24 dozer, Dover, Dover. Mm -hmm. and um, it's ready to go, ready to be picked up. We'll spin it around and put it on your truck. All right, so I hope you like this video. Let us know if this interests you. And also, if you wanted to put it on a beach lot, I think we have one or two beach lots here that we can offer you, or we can put it in our new community called Buffalo Creek. And so let us know if you want it to go in Buffalo Creek, all right? Thanks, guys.